My main interests are in energy systems and use of energy from power generation. I really got into it from being an interested in motorcycles as a teenager and then I did a PhD here in motorcycle technology. Went on to work at Ford Motor Company for a few years before I came back here. But nowadays most of the work is associated with energy efficiency and making good use of the energy from power generation. At Queen's you get a balance between teaching uh, research and other activities and those other activities quite often are working with local companies. Most of my work would be associated with Right Bus. We've had a series of projects uh, with Right Bus uh, over the last sort of 10 to 15 years. The relationship really began all oh, but 20 years ago because I had known William Wright for many years being a, a fellow Balamina man and one day I met William and we were just talking about some of the research work that he was interested in, which was in hybrid buses. So I said, oh, we're interested in that too, maybe we could help. And we went down and talked to the, the engineers at Wright Bus who were working on their, their then latest hybrid buses. And uh, I said that we could help by modelling some of that so that they could better understand how they were operating. So initially I developed some fairly simple models shoot demonstrating that we could calculate fuel economy and performance uh, of various systems. What then came out of that was we developed um, about two or three research projects uh, with PhD students to put a lot more intensive effort into, into the modelling process. In New Bus for London, one of the key aspects was putting together the uh, technical side of, of the tender process. In other words, how good fuel economy could uh, a bus deliver. The idea was that we used um, the modelling system, the computer model, to look at the specification of all the different components, modelled all of that and tried to give the best match to optimise the fuel economy. The result that came out of that then was that Wright Bus was able to put in a very good technical specification which was part of the process of winning, winning the tender. Uh, a large percentage of the marking scheme for awarding of the tender was on a technical specification of the, uh, of the system, Wright Bus 1, um, in order for 230 million worth of uh, new London buses, so 600 vehicles over the next sort of three to four years, uh, giving lots of jobs in Balamina. Right Bus now have a philosophy of, of modelling all of their uh, all of their new systems. The two people that they have employed, ex-research students from here, both worked on that and we have also got involved with a knowledge transfer partnership with um, a student um, who's just graduated from here whose responsibility is to make sure that that is applied right across the range. The collaborative relationship that we've had uh, over the last few years with Queen's University in particular on the automotive research side has actually proved to have paid real dividends in terms of the commercial exploitation of those technologies. In other words, the research and development has actually given the manufacturer, in this case, a competitive edge in the marketplace. And it's absolutely where higher education and business need to be in alignment, looking to the, the marketplace, looking to actually get a global competitive advantage for local companies. I'm very excited about what's ahead. There's quite a lot of things that we have been working on. The uh, project with Wright Bus that has just finished is on waste heat recovery and that's one of the next big things in the automotive industry. So with that plus hybrid technology there's the opportunity to give a 100 miles per gallon car in probably the next 10 years. My job within the Clean Energy Research Cluster is to try and push forward the new technologies for clean energy and I think those are the new exciting things for, for the future and uh, I think I see a big revolution in that over the next 10 to 20 years.